Hello everybody, welcome to Second Life Travels once again. We are here at Farmore Village, a place here in Second Life for Halloween season. Lovely little parcel that has a little, I guess a little like neighborhood type of thing going in here at the front, and then later in the back is a full haunted house. So we'll go ahead and take a look around this little village first. And I do love these little autumn piles here. Love the little sound effect they have, and the leaves going everywhere. Looks like we'll go ahead and start with this house first, I think. Got some lovely pumpkins to be beginning here. Oh, this is a pretty nice little spot here. Looks like perhaps like a uh, Sears house or just like a general occult house type of thing going on. Nice little fire. I love the candles. Got a nice little bit of uh, coloring going on here. Nice little greens and purples. Maybe a bit of like an apothecary type of thing going on. I see plenty of like bottles of stuff around and whatnot. And there's a couple of sound effects going on in the background. Let's check upstairs, see if there's anything here. Don't see anything up here. So it might just be the first floors that are decked out and stuff. Oh, this door over here is already open. We have a ghost. Maybe the ghost opened it. This one looks more like a normal autumn decorated type of place. So it looks like maybe the different houses have like different themes going on for the season. Which is a nice little like spot like this too. Pretty comfy. That's a neat little pumpkin design of all the holes in it for like candlelight going through. Oh, and here we have a full-on kitchen going on. A little fall decoration. Very nice, very nice. Got like the seasonings and whatnot here and the different little tools. Not everybody goes for those type of details. Sometimes they just kind of sit at the kitchen there and uh, that's it. But it's always nice to see it detailed out a bit. I really do love the autumn coloring. With the oranges and the lanterns, the falling leaves, just everything about this season. It's definitely my favorite season, even though I live in a place that doesn't really have a proper autumn feel to it, unfortunately. Okay, let's go ahead and check out this back house here. Got a cat. Black cats guarding the home. And they're magical too. There's actually quite a few black cats here. This looks like it's a perhaps a dance floor type of spot. Seems like a party atmosphere type of thing. And see a few witches things around as well. Yeah, I think this is pretty much like the party house. We got the witch's brew over there just like steaming up green. And we got the candy apples. It's been a very long time since I've actually had a candy apple. Or caramel apple. Though well, caramel apple is basically just called candy apples. So I'm not actually sure if there's a difference. Ooh, I like that uh, antler candles up there. Let's see if there's anything on the second floor here. Oh, yep, there is. There's, in fact, witches up here. I guess this is where they've been hanging out. There's a third witch in the back there, too. I barely saw it over the cauldron. Oh, the books are moving around. Got a bat, a bat in the cage, I think. 
That's neat. You know, I've seen those flying books before, but I've never actually seen them placed with like a book pile like that before, now that I think about it. Works out pretty well, to be honest. Usually I see it like next to a bookcase or something like that, but not like an actual book pile like that. I think it works a bit better with the book pile. That's a comfy little spot. And we have what I think is the apple cider here, huh? Or is it like pumpkin pie? Set? No, it's hot, it's hot apple cider, I guess. Can you make like a pumpkin cider? That's actually... I don't know if you could or not. I guess technically you could. Nice little haystack uh, sitting spot right here, too. I really just leave these, love these leaf piles. It just has a, such a nice sound to them. And we got a candy ghost guarding this house. This one looks like it has quite a few pumpkins going on here. Pumpkins for days. Literally just like baskets and buckets full of pumpkins everywhere. And we got pumpkins on the table too. I'm, that's like a pumpkin roll there too. I've had pumpkin rolls before. They're really nice. I love them. And they're usually seasonal too, so you can only really get them around autumn time. I like guess it's, it's part of that whole thing of the stores having like uh, that whole seasonal thing of everything being pumpkin or pumpkin spice flavored. Anything up here? Nope. Okay. Just wanted to check to make sure. Okay, it looks like this is the last house. We have some nice little decoration here at the front once again. And this one seems to be our, uh, well, we have a haunted house coming up, but this one seems to be like a tiny haunted house type of thing. Because this house definitely has a different atmosphere compared to all the rest. Actually, I have full-on leaves in here, too. Guess somebody's left the door open too long. This is nice though, especially since it's only like a little two room type of thing going on here, but it's actually really nicely decorated for what's going for here. Like the dim atmosphere and the cobwebs everywhere. Oh, we have an actual ghost here too. It does seem like uh, the ghosts around for this year have definitely like been stepped up. So I've been seeing some animated ghosts that have like some really nice animations and like I don't know if some of them like using animasher type things, but it does seem like they're a bit better than they usually are. Nice little picnic spot here. Some nice glow in the trees too. Like glow in the trees, that's usually like an autumn winter thing. You don't really see it too much with uh, spring and summer. Unless it's like a fantasy forest type thing. It's actually a nice little campfire spot too. Not a whole lot of sounds going on. Like this would be a good like photo spot right here. Photogenic. But now we're going to go through the Tunnel of Trees, get our flashlight. Okay, we got our flashlight. We're going to go through the Tunnel of Trees, and we're actually going to be essentially right at the haunted house up here. So we go from like a quaint little village to full-on haunted horror house, and 
It looks super nice with the flashlight light and the leaves going everywhere. Like, I really like those, like, tree tunnel type things. We'll just go ahead and follow the path up the hill here. And we can already hear the sirens and everything going off up here. Nice bit of fog. Oh, window's broken over here. So let's go ahead and uh, open the door and see what we find. Ah, uh, yes, the ghosts are not happy that we've come in the home. No, I don't think I'll go into the pot. Literal blood on the ceiling. <laughs> and leftovers in the fridge. I've got a rat doing a ritual in the sink. Or beneath the sink. <laughs> Creepy bunny. You are next. Oh shoot, that thing in the corner there, I was not expecting that. That's actually creepy to like see that all turning around. I don't want to pick up the phone because there might be something horrible behind it. No, no, I'm not thinking of ghosts, I'm thinking like a bill collector. Looks like the owners of the house are having some fun. <laughs> well, it looks like this guy's not having a good time now. Oh, we got some skeleton hands going off over here. Alright, let's go ahead and head on upstairs, see what awaits us up here. Oh, spider baby going across here. Actually, it was perfect timing with it going across like that. Since it seems to be randomly wandering around. Finding stuff in the corners like that is like a really nice little thing, especially since I usually go through everything in first person mode. So they do kind of like just pop up on me. This whole room seems to be uh, red. Like I always wonder how some of the lighting works in these individual rooms like this. It's pretty neat. Oh, we got a ghost in a wheelchair, I think, in the window. Jack in the box. Looks like he's having a good time. Or no, not a wheelchair, but he's holding like a ring. I thought he was holding like a wheelchair wheel at first. So this seems to be the kid's room. Maybe he's upset that his toy, toy house is on fire. Yeah, I don't think the kid is having a good time there. And here we have the last room, which apparently is a makeshift, uh... surgery room, from what I can tell. The doctor seems to be having a good time with his chainsaw. Another person hanging around. Oh, 
Overall, a really nice little haunted house. Some really nice lighting and fog effects going on throughout, too. Was there a basement? I couldn't remember. Nope, okay, there's not a basement on this one. In any case, this was Fallmore Village. And as usual, I always say to come take a look at the places while you can during the Halloween season. And I will see you guys next time here in Second Life Travels. So have a happy Halloween.